All right, folks, this is a Honda Civic 1.8 four cylinder. Want to know how to change the spark plugs on it or the coils? They're very simple here. Everything is in the wide open right here. Nothing to stop you unless the brakes bolt. I mean, the bolts break, then you're in trouble. But other than that, it's basically just got to squeeze these little tabs here. Right, you squeeze a little tab, this little piece comes up. If you need a little help, take this, stick it right in here. Okay, and just lift it up a little bit. Don't lift it too much because you're going to break it. Just enough to clear it. Once you clear it, then you just unplug it, put it out of the way. All right, after that, 10 millimeter. Favorite bolts of all firing cars. Take a 10 millimeter. Crack it open, spin it, it's a pretty long bolt, put it off to the side. When we get to the coil part of it, you just want to give it a nice little twist just to break the seal. Okay, once you break it, you pull it out. Okay. This one looks pretty good. Don't look for any burn marks or anything like that. Put that off to the side, put it up on top if you want. If you put a valve cover, falls back, then uh, your shot. Next one is it's gonna be it's a regular 5/8 spark plug wrench, okay? Or socket as they would call it. Make sure it's the one with a little rubber seal in it. And that's the only way you're gonna get it out of that hole. If you reg if you use a regular 5/8 socket, you can just gotta use a uh, magnet or something to pull it up with. Alright, so once you break that open, it's basically just gonna spin it all the way up. Take my ratchet off here for a second. Got the little ratchet off. Spin it all the way out. Lefty loosey, righty tighty, remember? You're gonna feel it when it breaks off. There you go. Nice and easy so you don't drop it. Looks like a platinum plug. You can put it over here. Yeah, looks like a platinum plug here. Damn, these cameras with the automatics here. There you go. Alright, doesn't look too bad. But if you haven't changed them in a while, change them. Alright, the platinum plugs do not get gapped because you don't want to ruin that little little tabs over there. Alright, so just putting it back, it's just the opposite. Okay, you get the nice little plugs, make sure they have a gap, because sometimes when they're shipped, they could have dropped at one point. And you don't want that. All right, you're going to spin them in. You're going to tighten it up. You're going to put the little coil back on. The 10 millimeter bolt. And then you're going to plug it back in. Then you'll be all set. All right, let's see if I can get my little ratchet here. Spin it around. My favorite little ratchet. There you go. Get your trusty coil. Put it in there. It's going to line up with the hole. Get your little 10 millimeter bolt. should go in just as smooth as you're coming out okay if you feel a little resistance back it out you got to cross thread it but what they what do they say the old hot rod guy cross thread is better than no thread but you don't want that okay nice and tight this little bugger is gonna come here you can see it snapping there you go. All right. Do that to all four, and you should be good. All right. Ciao. Enjoy.